Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly um, love reading for you. This is for the sign of Taurus and this is for a weekly reading applicable for singles, couples, in a relationship or dating. And this is for Taurus sign. Please universe, what can I get for Taurus for the week of May 27 up until May 31st, 2019? What are the messages, please, for Taurus sign? What's the message, please, for Taurus sign? Weekly. What is the last? What is the message, please, for the last week of May for Taurus? Applicable for singles, couples in a relationship, or in betweeners, please, universe. All right. Your first card, Taurus, is the Nine of Swords in um, upright position. You've got the Empress. You've got a Ten of Cups. You've got uh, hmm, the Strength card. You've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And King of Swords and the Chariot. Alright, let's start your reading, Taurus. Um, let me just move the cards so that you've got proper visibility. I can't, you can't see this. All right. This is, um, so, um, so you've got the nine of swords in upright position. Um, someone is feeling sad. Someone is missing someone. Someone is stressed. Um, I'm really picking up two energy here, Taurus. Um, if this is not you, it could be the energy of the person you're dealing with. Um, one of you is stressed while the other one isn't. I'm really picking up if you are in a breakup or getting to know each other or reconnecting. One of you, I'm picking up, um, you know, they, they overthink. Um, they want to speed up things. Um, for some of you, I'm... I'm hearing they want to hop, like they want to speed up things, they want to really um, take a detour and end, and end it, So for some of you. Um, yeah, for some of you, you, you're overthinking because you want this th thing, whatever it is that's your priority, your focus to, to be over. Um, I'm really picking up Two, two, um, two energy in here. All right. Um, this is the energy of the other person. Very unhappy, very confused, very overthinking. While the other person is um, very optimistic, feeling confident. So I'm not really sure what's happening to you, Taurus. But it seems to be that um, this is very, this is pessimistic. This is optimistic. So it's really two different energy from two different people. I don't know where you sit here, but overall, um, I'm seeing the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords. It seems to be that whoever sitting on the Nine of Swords energy, um, I'm hearing sabotage, um, not intentionally, but for some reason, because this is negative, it weighs down the positivity. So for some of you, it could be a breakup, but someone is overthinking about it, like over dramatic about something. It could be a simple or a petty argument, but someone is um, overreacting. Um, if you're dating, get to know, getting to know each other, someone is overthinking about um, the first stage, the initial stage of dating. It could be, it seems to be what I'm getting in here. It is... It's kind of someone is preempting an issue, preempting a problem. Uh, someone is picking up a fight while the other person is sitting really positively. So I'm not sure whether that's you, Taurus, or them. But this energy is eating out the positivity of this connection, reconnection, or relationship. That's why the most likely outcome is the um, Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Because... Someone is having a lot of drama. Um, whatever, because um, you've got the last card is the um, the chariot. So it could be someone is stressed 
for something that you shouldn't be stressed, especially if it's about a travel. Um, Chari speaks about progress, um, solution, um, you know, um, process, quick process, um, quick turnaround of things. So I felt like this is going to be successful. You know, there's really chances of if this is a breakup, if this is a miscommunication, if this is an argument. Um, I'm really picking up at the end of this month, you know, there's really a chance for this to be to be okay. Um, but someone needs to... Because um, if, this, if this attitude, if this behavior continues, whoever is sitting on the drama, on the overreacting kind of energy, if this continues to go on, this is most likely the outcome. Like this person who is sitting very positively, optimistic, uh, very driven that, you know, what I'm really sensing from, from this person is that everything is going to, you know, this person is, is the one who's, who's, um, who's um, making the other person feel like, you know, it's going to be fine, it's going to be all right, um, we will be okay, we will be fine, this is temporary, you know, this person is overthinking that uh, it's the end of the world, while well, the other energy is that it's going to be okay, this is just a hiccup, this is a blockage, but, you know, things will be better, things will be fine. So it's totally the opposite of each other. So um, so if this energy, this person um, continues to act this way, to think this way, then the most likely outcome is the seven of pentacles. So if this, if this, if you are hearing this Taurus, um, it's kind of reminding you that your person, your person is really so chillax. Um, it's it's very patient for whatever is happening towards you and them. If this is a you know a, an argument, a miscommunication, there's just relaxing, chilling, and you know and applying patient. You know, for some of you, I'm just picking up there somewhere, probably enjoying some time alone or uh, with their friends and um, sooner or later, you know, they would be ready. But if by the time they would connect with you and you still have this pessimistic energy, the most likely outcome is that I'm not going to try to invest and contact you because you're so down, you know, this, because this two cards is so positive, you know, like, you know, um, it could be a bad breakup, it could be a miscommunication, it could be an argument or for dating or for um, for dating or getting to know. It could be just one day that you didn't talk and this person is crying, overreacting, overly dramatic. If this person, if this person find, finds out or felt that someone's over, overreacting about something that it shouldn't be like that, then they might be put off turn off and might not invest because this is what you know this is not what i sign off like this this and this is an empress all right taurus if if this is your if you're sitting on this energy may i just remind you that you're dealing with an empress an empress who doesn't have time with petty quarrel dramatic um pessimistic attitude it won't invest it would you would put you would make this the empress turn off if you display this um drama now if for any reason Taurus, you sit at this energy the positive one then it's about time to pick up this person's energy and lift them up into more positive if you like this person if you if you want to go ahead with a connection or reconnection because this energy whoever is sitting on this energy is is affecting the 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 other person it is as simple as saying that it, if it's this you, Taurus, one person is, you know, is, is, is at his or her room crying, thinking, overthinking, being dramatic, while the other person is so chillax, watching TV, um, catching up with friends, enjoying the me time alone. If, if you broke up, they're just enjoying the me time, you know, because they felt like this is... This is freedom and eventually things would progress into a more better, um, for them, 
you know for this person this is this is freedom for them and a time alone but it doesn't mean that they're forgotten you you know they're sitting really positively they're you know if if they're moving on they're not moving on with hatred they're just really enjoying times some time off or being alone or just just being patient on whatever it is that's happening in your life so it's really is as simple as this this um this end of the month um of may end of the month of may there's gonna be a positive result there's gonna be pa um progress you know um you could be traveling you know travel will move um date will happen for some of you i'm picking up long it will happen whatever it is progress will happen so don't overreact don't be over dramatic because things seems to be under control for this person for one individual all right there's gonna be a pisces um i think i'm, I'm gonna make a video um i think it's january two or three that's probably the reason why you know people tend to be dramatic or dreamy or a bit of strange in terms of their emotions and a bit moody so stay away from this negativity taurus because if this is you it's directly telling you that your person is very okay is very positive if for some reason you're not talking you know they are not hating you right now they're just really thinking that maybe you need some time you know they're not vibing low their vibe is so positive if they are if they're not if they're not communicating with you if they're not talking to you it's it that is the sign that they're giving you more space so that when both of you are ready you know things will be fine things will progress like the chariot all right so um that is for you taurus i hope you had a you know i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you connected with the video i hope you pick up a message for today if you do don't forget to click like don't forget to click subscribe and i'll see you soon again with your um singles reading and how does your she feels about me reading thank you taurus bye